appreciate everyone. Hello, gal Charlotte. No, it's not closed, it's open. This is one of the few Kmarts left um, in the Phoenix area. I think there's eight left in Arizona. And uh, this is actually the Kmart that I um, did my video on a while back. Yeah, I'm out in the garden center right now. I figured I'd start the stream in here, or out here. And, uh, cause it looks a lot different than it did when I did the video. It was kind of a mess out here. I kind of walked around the store a little bit and looked at things and some of the, a lot of the things that I pointed out in the video were no longer that way. For example, the garden center is not nearly as mess of, of a mess. And then like the really old, um, POS systems that were in the inside part of the garden center, those are gone now. And they took down like the old school electronic sign that was kind of half covered up by the new electronic sign, which we'll, I'll try and show you guys that when we go inside. So it's, I feel like somebody may have watched my video here and, and cleaned up some of the stuff. No, they don't have a garden register up. And like I was saying, they actually removed all of the registers. The last time I was here when I filmed uh, the video that's on my channel, they did have the old registers in the, in the uh, inside part of the garden center, but they were like old and hadn't been used in a long time. But I, I kind of did a quick walk through the store, and it's there's there's some people in there, but it's it's not super busy at all. I'll give people a few more minutes to join, and then we'll go take a look. Um, also, when I go in there, the camera is going to be kind of you know at a lower level because I'll show you. I'm going to try and film without getting all that too much in there, so it'll be like this. Hopefully, that looks okay but I won't be able to see a lot of comments and stuff, uh, you know, while I've got the camera like this. Also, let me know if you guys can hear me okay when I'm talking, because I want to talk kind of quiet in there. Hi, Sonny. Thank you, Coil. No, I'm just kind of holding it down by my waist um, with the screen kind of against me, just like I'm holding my phone. It probably looks awkward, but it's just something I want to try. Voice is muffled. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Um, I'll try and keep it where it's not obvious, and hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'll try and I want to try not to film as many people as possible because I'm sure they want to appreciate being filmed. Do I drive a BMW? No, I drive a truck. Um, some viewers had told me there was a bunch of stuff on starting to go on clearance at this one and it looked like it was going to be closing soon, but it doesn't look like that to me, um, just from the quick walkthrough I did. And I did a couple of searches on the internet. As far as I can tell, the only Kmart that's closing right now um, in Arizona, I think, is in Bullhead City. So if I had to guess, there's probably a Walmart there that's put that Kmart out of business. But as far as I can tell, this one's staying open for now, but there's only eight in Arizona total. And with that Bullhead City one closing, there'll be seven, so... You know, that's a good question. I don't know if headphones with a microphone would help. I'll help. Maybe I'll try that next time. Is that a little bit better? Okay, how about now? Is that more clear? I'm just, I'm trying a couple of hand positions real quick here, guys. Sorry. Is that better? Hopefully my fingers aren't in the way. Okay. All right, it looks like we've got quite a few people on the stream now, so let's go ahead and go inside and see what we can see. Actually, before we do that, let me see. I'm gonna walk around the other corner of this uh, garden center right here and see what it looks like. I was kind of worried somebody was going to come see why somebody was hanging out in the garden section all by themselves. OK, 
God, it is hot. So, yeah, it looks like this is all still storage for racks and stuff. Shelves, stuff like that. Yeah, you should watch my, my video that's uh, on my channel about Kmart. There's, I, I, the, the garden section looked even sadder when I did that video. Looks like they've got this door blocked off. As far, I, I believe the, the gate there, the, the outside entrance, I believe they keep that locked also. So the, really the only way in is through here. All right, let's go inside. So this is the inside of the garden center. So back there at those doors, um, the last time I was here, there was cash registers there, but it looks like they've gotten rid of them now. They're really old ones. This is Game Arts in Mesa, Arizona. Can you guys still hear me okay right now? Okay. We're gonna walk by the pharmacy, but that's closed now. I see they took the pharmacy sign down, it's just blank. So empty in here. The music they're playing in here is super dated. Oh, is that an old school CRT monitor up there? I want to see that. I what that box is up there. It sounds like a 90s dance club in here. Look at how dirty this stuff is. Sorry guys, I can't really keep up with the comments right now, the way I'm kind of holding the, the phone to film, but um, when I can, I find a quiet spot, I'll stop for a minute. And there's a lot of kayaks. I've seen a few employees walking around, but I'm kind of trying to actively avoid them.
play away. That's tempting. Now nah, there was an employee headed that way, I think. I saw him, so I dipped the other way. We're gonna come up to a, the Sears section of the store in a minute, the Sears appliance section, which it was pretty sad looking the last time I was here. It is nice and cool in here though, I, I will say that. A lot of the dead malls I've been in recently, they've been running their air conditioning way too high. They just kind of throw the boxes out here, the appliances. Yeah, this Kmart looks just like it did when I was a kid. Same shelves and everything. Same clothes, I think, too. Just using my phone so I can stream live. I'll take a break here for a minute. Oh, guys, we got 311 people here in the stream. I think that's a l probably 10 times at least as many people are in this Kmart right now. <laughs> the towel prices, let's look. They're on sale. What's a 24 hour Kmart challenge? Is that where you try and stay in the store for 24 hours? I did notice some of the employees are wearing like blue light special t-shirts. That's beautiful tile, just beautiful. That would make for an interesting video if somebody live streamed the 24 hour Kmart challenge. Oh my god, they're playing Republica. No, I really don't want to draw a lot of attention to myself. <laughs> so far, this live stream's going pretty well. But yeah, you can see it's just empty in here. The baby section looks like a discount junk store. There's some people closer to the front of the store. I've gotten 
Oh, there's a customer right there, guys. See? I've gotten a little bit more brazen now with my filming since like nobody said anything yet. Yeah, it's well stocked because nobody buys anything. <laughs> There is, I don't know if you can see it all the way over there in the front, there's a little Caesars in this one too, which we'll go try and take a look at. I wouldn't want to shop it either, neither one sells video games anymore. Sorry if the uh, connection gets poor, guys, every now and again. <laughs> Not at Kmart. Thank you, Rick. So few people in here, it's crazy. Look at how worn out the floors are. So bad. <laughs> Classic price tag there. Uh, this game where it's in Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> the shoe section, it, it looks like a, a Payless, a Payless shoe source in the middle of Kmart with how high those things are stacked. try and capture uh, some of the front of the store and the electronic section. Safety dance, yep. I'm using a Note 5. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep up with the stream, but we've got like almost 500 people in here now, so it's hard to keep up with. I think Little Caesars just rents the space. I think they have an agreement with Kmart. Thank you, Ren. If you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely uh, check out my channel on YouTube, Retail Archaeology. I've got lots of dead mall videos and all kinds of other things. Videos about Hallmark Gold Crown stores, Payless Shoe stores, definitely check it out. Where did I get the time machine? That's kind of how I feel like it's like I've stepped into a time portal whenever I walk into somewhere like Kmart. Yeah, I've seen a few customers, but there is definitely far more people on this live stream than, than there are customers in this Kmart. Let's go take a look and see if we can take a look at the electronics section. I imagine that section is watched, I would hope anyways, pretty heavily for loss prevention, so I'm going to try and be very uh, incognito over there, so I apologize if the uh, footage gets crappy.
I, if there were CRT TVs here, I would buy them. There's more mattresses in the electronics section than electronics. They turned half of it into a, a mattress and pillows. You can see the Sears appliance section all the way down there. Yeah, your boxer pillows. I will uh, post this stream on YouTube once I'm complete, you know, once it's done so everybody can see it, people that missed it, or if you want to rewatch it. I'm trying to see what brands the TVs are. I think it's Samsung's here. The last years I was at, they only had like off-brand name TVs and stuff, but they've got Samsung and stuff here. And they've got stuff like the Nakame Sound Bar. This stuff has probably been sitting here forever. No, and it's a shame about CRT TVs because they're the only TVs that light guns work with. I just um, put a video out on my other YouTube channel, my retro gaming channel, Mad A Productions, on a uh, Sega Saturn light gun game, Virtua Cop. And those kind of games will only work on CRT televisions. Ink cartridges. This Kmart is the first place I think of to buy ink cartridges. Overpriced calculators. electronic section is really sad. I keep kind of hoping they'll announce a blue light special while I'm in here. Stereos. They don't have any video games at Kmart. There's no video games here. There is, however, a grumpy cat mouse pad. They have 32x games. If they had 32x games, I'd buy them. That is a system I'm collecting for. <laughs> Do you like some of the arcade conversions on the 32X? What is this? Bargain books, 80% off. <laughs> buy that mouse pad. You know what? I am going to buy that mouse pad. How much is it? Hold on. That's the least I can do. Yeah, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Who doesn't need a grumpy cat mouse pad? Guys, this will probably be the first purchase from the electronics section in like nine months, so. <laughs> Please ask for assistance with this merchandise. An associate will be happy to help you. What associates? And this is their their book section, I guess. Coloring books and stuff. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit. So I'm gonna walk across the front, the front, and then we'll check out the uh, little Caesars, and then I'm gonna stick. 
the phone in my pocket while I check out, and then uh, we'll continue the stream for a few minutes after that. Let's go check out the front and the Little Caesars. How nasty do you think that $3 pizza is going to be? <laughs> I'm going to go check out that $3 pizza. There's actually an employee at the jewelry counter. on the offices. I don't know what this little section used to be, but now they use it for a team sports section. It is like really dark in this area. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna go like kind of incognito, walk around the uh, Little Caesars, and then um, I'm gonna go buy this mouse pad, but I'll put the phone in my shirt pocket so at least you guys can maybe hear that and then we'll pick up the stream after that. The bears. Alright guys, I'm going to go buy this grumpy cat mouse pad, so just hold on a few minutes. Sure. 
Sure, you can just throw them in the bag. Oh, thank you. Okay guys, hopefully that wasn't too obnoxious while I checked out. <laughs> we'll take a look at some of the outside of the, the Kmart and then I think we'll wrap up the stream after that. Right, the carousel. A little too big for that. Look over there. There's a Payless shoe source over there. guys Kmart they're not out of business yet I have a video on my channel on Payless shoe source but they're not quite out of business yet I want to walk over to the um, show the mouse pad <laughs> hold on you should see the like nine feet of receipts they gave me for, for one thing and it's a bunch of coupons and all kinds of shit. It's like, I just, I just want a receipt. <laughs> Should've bought the pizza. Now, I've got good food cooking at home. <laughs> there it is, guys. Grumpy Cat Mouse Pad. So I'm going to go walk over to the garden section real quick. Why did I buy that? Because I'm going to give it to my daughter. I would love to go to the Toys R Us across the street, but I gotta wrap up the stream in a few minutes because I gotta get home. Plus, actually, my battery's dying on my phone. I'm down to like 15% charge. I was at like 90-something percent when I started the stream half an hour ago, so apparently streaming kills your battery. I want to see if they cleaned all the spider webs and shit up from when I did my video a long time ago here. It still looks nasty. Oh yeah, they cleaned it up. Look at that. I think somebody saw my video. Look at that. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Um, I'll make this stream available for everybody uh, a little bit later on tonight. You can see how empty the parking lot is here, isn't that crazy? But, uh, yeah, thanks for joining my live stream on this uh, video tour of Kmart. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, Retar Retail Archaeology, and also uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, all that good stuff. Links, There's links to my channel, or links on my channel on all the videos, all those things. 
I'm gonna go find my truck and crank the air conditioning because it is freaking hot out here. Thanks guys.